Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you an essential, essential skill. Something you must know if you're gonna invest in high risk DeFi protocols. That is how to interact directly with smart contracts through a chain explorer like Snowtrace for Avalanche or Etherscan for Ethereum. Now you might say to me, Alpha, this sounds really boring. Uh, can't you just tell me what the next 10,000 APY Ponzu is? Or how do I get on the whitelist for the latest <laughs> project? Well, I could, I could. I've done plenty of that on this channel, but to, I think this video is probably just as valuable. It is more valuable if you don't know how to do this, all right? Um, imagine you ape into one of those 10,000 APY Ponzu's and everything's going great. You're hundred X up. Uh, it's fantastic. And then you go to sleep, you wake up the next morning and bam, website's down. Discord is cl closed. What do you do? Well, if you don't know how to use a chain explorer, you're basically screwed. There's, there's pretty much very little you can do. Um, but if you are able to do these to and use these to interact with the smart contract directly, uh, you have a glimmer of hope, right? You may be able to get something back uh, is, um, is, is, is how it works. So let me explain this a little bit more. Um, this is SushiSwap, right? This is SushiSwap. And on SushiSwap, it looks very beautiful. Uh, you've got all these colorful buttons. You've got nice dynamic interactive interface. This is probably built in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and basically a 12 year old could, could operate this if you gave them enough time. Uh, you don't need to know how to code or anything like that in order to interact with the underlying technology, which is this smart contract here, right? This is the source code for a smart contract uh, for, um, you know, this, this LP pair, right? Sushi swap, wrap Bitcoin, ETH, LP pair. That's, that's exactly what this is, right? So this is the nice, pretty front end that they built for you. This is the actual back end of what you are actually interacting with, right? And you see here, it's got the code on Etherscan and you can actually write to the contract. So you can connect your MetaMask directly to this and you can use these to interact with it. For example, swap, right? Uh, you can actually make a swap with, with this here, and it's the same as the swap here. Um, but it's, it's sort of ugly and a little bit difficult, right, to use. Amount zero out, unit 256. Amount one out, unit 256. Uh, data, bytes. It's, it's not exactly clear what, you know, what, what this is and, and what you should put here. So it's not easy. Every, every contract is different, right? There's no, you can, some of the, some contracts you come in and, and these are intuitive uh, and relatively straightforward. And some of them are just complete like uh, gobbledygook, right? So, but, you know, th this is, this is what I'm talking about, right? I'm going to show you how you can find this and interact with this. And if SushiSwap was to go down, the, let's say there was a denial of service attack on, on the website suddenly. Well, if you know how to do this and the basics, you could probably work it out, a little bit of experimentation, and you'd still be able to interact with your LP pair and maybe break it up and, and do something with it. So... Let's talk about these uh, chain explorers first, right? Just the absolute basics on them, right? You've got Snowtrace for uh, Avalanche. You've got Etherscan for Ethereum. You've got Phantom Scan for Phantom. You've got Binance Scan for Ban Binance. You've got Polygon Scan for Polygon. And these are all basically identical. They've got different colors, uh, but they all work almost exactly identically the same. Solana's different. Terra's different, right? These are non-EVM chains and uh, they do their own thing and they fulfill the same functions and you, you, know, you can do basically the same things in here, but um, it's, it's all organized differently and it's, you know, I'm not gonna cover this today. So I wanna use the example of magic internet money, MIM, because basically everyone watching this video should know what MIM is. 
Okay, and it's simple. It's a dollar stable coin, right? So if I go here for the contract, and um, I can see here on on CoinGecko all of the different contracts for for different networks. I'm going to copy the Avalanche one, and then go on to Snowtrace. And there we go. All right. So now we've got up magic internet money. Okay. So we know we're in the right place because this is saying MIM here. And down here, we've got all the contracts, uh, sorry, all the transactions that's happened recently. So I can click on one of these transactions. I can see, okay, it was successful. Uh, this is the timestamp. Uh, I can see the uh, transaction fee. Uh, I can see it was from this address to this address. And this address is a contract address, right? It's abracadabra money, MIM token contract address. It's not an individual wallet. So something happening there with abracadabra. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I can also get the contracts, as I said, right? The contracts in here, you can see the code directly. You can write to the contract directly from here. That's cool. Let's go into the token tracker. In the token tracker, I can see the number of holders, right? 25,000 holders on Avalanche for MIM. I can see the total supply, 773 million. I can see the transfers over 1.3 million. I've got the official site. I've got all the social media. Um, I've got the email. I can email wizard at abracadabra, um, give the wizard an email if I wanted to. Um, what else? Holders. Let's have a look at holders. So here I've got all the largest holders of MIM. And you can see here, there's, oh, there's a huge holder there. But actually these ones here with this icon are contracts. Right? They're not individual wallets. So this is not some mega whale. Um, this is a contract for a protocol. But I can look here and visualize this by clicking here. And it gives me a nice pie chart, which is pretty and colorful. And it shows me the top 100 holders. Right? Now I could change that to top 500, top three, whatever. Right? But on here, you can already see from the names, Wonderland Treasury, Snowbank Dow, Wonderland Dow that most of the big ones are contracts. In fact, nearly all of these are contracts, right? Okay, this one isn't, this one's a wallet. So um, yeah, this is a good tool to analyze for uh, whales holding a token, who are the largest holders, how much do they hold, when did they buy? You, you can work it all out actually from, from here uh, with enough time. So I think that's kind of the basics there of like what you can do on these scanners. Um, yeah, I, I think we'll stop there. I think that's, that's, that's enough for now. So uh, let's use an example here. I wanna go back to another example of how this might be useful. Uh, I wanna use Charge DeFi. Now, upfront, I wanna say I have nothing against Charge DeFi. I'm not saying this protocol is good. I'm not saying this protocol is bad. I don't know the devs behind this. Um, I only picked it because it's new and I featured it in the last video. So it's top of mind, but, um, I'm not, I don't, I, yeah, I, is this good or a bad investment? I, I really, it doesn't matter. All right. I'm just using it as an example. Okay. That's it. Totally neutral. I'm not trying to fud this or anything like that. Now, um, this is a new protocol. Oh, it has been audited now. So that's good with, with, with Certic, but, um, Let's say you invested in this because you're excited about Tomb Forks and the next day you wake up and this site is down and the Discord's gone. Hypothetically, hypothetically, right? Not saying that's going to happen, but just bear with me. Just an example. Um, what would you do, right? You, you can't, the website's gone. You can't interact with it anymore. Well, actually you can, right? What you could do if you come into Binance Scan, you can input your, your address right here, your, your MetaMask. Put your MetaMask in here and search for it, right? Uh, if you do that, it will come up like this. Oh, no, it won't come up like this. Sorry. It will come up like this, yeah? So you, you put it in, and now here's your... Um, no, sorry. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. Um, no, that's not right either. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Right, so you put in your contract address um, for 
this. Let me, let me just do it, right? Hang on. There we go. Okay, right. But new contract address. Now, why am I faffing around there? It's because, yeah, initially you get up like a list of transactions, which should be your transactions from this address. This is not my address, by the way. But um, you need to click here, right? You need to click here. This is what you want. The view expanded BEP20 token holding. And this will be in the same place on the other ones, right? On, on different networks. This gives you a nice list of your tokens, right? In the same way that you would get on MetaMask, right? But it also gives you the contract address, right? So I've got charge, I've got static. These are the tokens for, um, for charge DeFi, right? So I can come in here and I can just click on this, um, this here. And now I've got the token track of a charge, bam. Okay, I can get in there. I can find the contract for charge. It's in here, right? Lovely. Okay. And I can start to connect my wallet and interact with the charge um, contract. Even though the website's down, even though the Discord is closed, I can still, you know, potentially interact with the contract from here. And I have to work out what these mean, right? It's not very intuitive. Uh, it's very confusing for some of these I mean, every contract will be different and many of these you can't use they'll, they'll be for you know the uh, basically the admin uh, to who can only you know use use many of these but if you can find the right one and play around with it you might still be able to do something with your tokens right you be able to move them out unstake them transfer them whatever um, without having any direct access to the website so that, that, that could be useful. That could be very, very useful, right? So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some value. Um, please, you know, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff, get in there. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. And uh, speak to you soon.